Welcome back at Johnny's desk. Today I wanted to show you my class E Tesla coil, but it doesn't work anymore. I made this beautiful circuit and it worked, but then I had to do some modifications and made a new circuit and it didn't work. Class E Tesla coils are really a pain to tune, so I don't want to do it right now, but I decided to recycle the circuit and just make another thing out of it. Ferrofluid is a liquid that is attracted to magnetic fields by an electromagnet or by a permanent magnet. So I came up with the idea of controlling ferrofluid with an electromagnet. And here you have the whole schematic. I left some things out because of simplicity. Now the A-Tiny can control what signal goes to the MOSFET driver and to the MOSFET gate. The MOSFET is then connecting the electromagnet to ground and there's current flowing. Of course we need a flyback diode. And now finally let's have a look what ferrofluid does in changing magnetic fields. I've programmed the A-Tiny so that one potentiometer controls duty cycle and so the strength of the electromagnet and the other potentiometer controls the frequency of the interrupter signal. And so we can control the frequency and the strength of the electromagnet. You might think of controlling the electromagnet by an audio signal and that's absolutely possible. For this we need to add an audio input for our A-Tiny 84. So it can sample the audio and convert it in a proportional PWM signal for driving the MOSFET and the electromagnet. I found an easy way to import an audio signal into an A-Tiny. We just need a capacitor and a voltage divider. I implemented the three components to my existing circuit board and now we can test it. Now comes a new song that I made with dancing ferrofluid. I hope you enjoy it and this was it for today from Johnny's Desk. Bye until next time. Please subscribe and tell me in the comments what else I should do with the ferrofluid.